Hey guys, having so much fun with this. I got the uh, other two shift registers installed. Um, I did uh, chicken out and I actually put 16 resistors there for uh, and I think it's probably wise because as it is it's pretty bright and if I ever make an accident and only light up one of the LEDs it will go through a lot of current there so but basically uh, I cleaned up the wires too I think it looks pretty cool and uh, these wires will get cleaned up too I just wasn't sure if I was going to share some of the uh, pins or not between the rows and columns and it turned out that you can share the clock uh, pins so instead of using six I could have used five very easily or I suppose if you just push all uh, 32 bits in one fell swoop I could have used just three three pins but that will make it less flexible you know so basically uh, if I done if I had done that I have to specify both the pattern for row and column for every single um, cycle but with this I could say yeah this is exactly what's happening right now I could say okay I want to uh, select this column and then this put the pattern here or vice versa and they are independent of each other so uh, see what else is new no uh, I think uh, the next step after this basically right now I could control any pin but it is uh, hard coded within the main loop but next is I'm going to try to make this into a, an interrupt routine so basically I will reserve a 16 by 16 array and then that way that will just get refreshed onto the the display automatically during interrupt and then all the Tetris code will have to do is just put a dot wherever the wherever the dots need to be within that array and then the screen will basically refresh itself so coming along getting exciting thanks for watching guys bye bye